Hello and welcome to Kerbal Craft, episode 2 of the Minecraft Skygrid Survival Series. I'm just going to cut to the chase really quickly here. Basically, when I recorded the video you're about to see, I initially wanted to do it as part of episode 1, but then I realized it ended up being a lot longer than I had initially thought so. So now it is the entirety of episode 2, and everything that was in episode 1 is in episode 1. I just thought I'd say something because in a couple parts of the video I mentioned stuff as having happened earlier in the episode, even though it actually happened in part one. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, it's a different day. I changed the stuff in the background a little bit and I added some lighting above here. And that's about it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change gears a little bit. We are going to... So like I was talking about, we're gonna try to get more iron so that we can make a second bucket which we're then going to use to make an infinite water source. And then we're going to try and make the cobblestone generator. So I want to try and do that, plus the other stuff we did in the video, beginning of the video, like all in the same video. So yeah, I guess I got to go find some iron right now. Okay, these villagers are really freaking annoying. Honestly, I'm thinking about just getting rid of that spawner. Bruh. <laughs> At least I got some XP from that. Uh, there's some iron right there. Oh my god, this water bucket makes everything so much easier. Yeah, there's some more over there. I want to get like a decent amount of iron. That way I can make uh, an iron pickaxe, which will be good for getting diamonds. I can also get wood. I'm just trying to look around and see if I can find any iron. Though, I don't really see any right now. Gotta climb up here. And then grab this freaking wood block right here. And I, I still I still can't find any freaking iron like bro. Where's the where's the iron at? Emeralds that doesn't help me There's Diamonds, but that doesn't help me. Oh, there's iron right there. Uh, okay Bruh Did you see that enderman just fall off? It was like yeet. Oh shoot. <laughs> I Like almost like bounced out of it and I was like oh crap <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna eat this potato. <laughs> Yay! It's two iron. Ah, oh, there we go. There's another one right there. Oh, there's one right there. That one's closer. Yeah, maybe if I could get like some some iron boots or something too. And then eventually diamond boots would be nice because it would prevent me from dying if I like fall a long distance. Yay. Okay, so lesson we learned from earlier is don't mind the cobblestone blocks because they're silver fish spawners. Or at least maybe it was just that one, I don't know. But I'm not taking any more risks. Cause that literally killed me. Yay. Oh, it's underneath the lava. Bro, what the fuck? I think I can turn it into obsidian. Yep. Knew it. Yeet. You know, it'd be so bad if I just died right now. Okay, where's the base? I think I stranded a little far. Uh, I know these, these little lava falls here were visible from the base. I think it's a little further up, isn't it? I have no freaking clue. You gotta be kidding me. And I don't have Optifine Zoom. Cause I'm using 115 and there's no 115 Optifine yet. I normally I use Optifine. So I would normally have Optifine Zoom. Oh, there's a loot chest. Uh, and there's some more iron. So maybe if I get these, maybe it'll, maybe I'll figure it out. It's kind of scary being this low cause it's just easy to drop all the way down. What is this? Gas spawn egg? Okay. Glowstone. Oh, iron. Yes. Sand. 12 armor stands? Okay, I'll take like half of those. Actually, you know what? I might as well just take everything. There's nothing to lose from that. I'll mine the chest so I don't try to go after it again. Now, I'm pretty sure we just went even further away from the base. Which was dumb, but whatever. I swear those lava, those little lava falls over there, those were visible from the base. I'm pretty sure. So maybe if I just keep going up in kind of this direction here, 
Maybe I will start to see it. This is another reason that like build an actual base so you can like actually see it. Now, technically, I think what I can do is I can type in slash home. And it'll just teleport me there, but that's kind of cheating. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Maybe not quite that hard, but you know, you get the point. Difficult to find. I just don't remember. Is it on this side of the lava falls or is it on this side? I don't even know. Gosh dang it. I don't think it was this high up. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was about here. Somewhere. Oh, come on. I feel like I just keep, like, looking at it and then, like, just not seeing it, you know? Yeah, maybe it is on this side. Oh, now it's raining. It's freaking raining, bro. Bro. Which is actually making it slightly harder to see. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you should check out the music video that I put out a couple weeks ago. The KSP music video. I'll put a thing up at the... The, this part of the screen. Yeah, right here. The little eye icon. Okay. I think I'm just gonna have to say screw it and then just do a new base. I mean, there there wasn't too much to lose. There was like a couple... I think I had like a couple rabbit spawn eggs. And then... Oh my god, that was close. I think I had a couple rabbit spawn eggs and then I had like a little bit of cobblestone and then like a little bit of like dirt or something stupid. And then some coal. And yeah, it wasn't much. And then the I think the most valuable thing I had there was the furnace. If I just mine a couple of these blocks right here, I can fix that. Get me another furnace. Yeet. Okay, okay, okay. That's not okay. That was close. That was close. What I was trying to do was I was trying to get down here so I can mine this freaking stone block. I only need three more. Three more stone blocks before I can build a freaking furnace. There's two right here. There's two right here. And there's there's one right there. Yeet. Oh, there's one up here. Those are usually harder to get. Because, like, if you try to mine it, like, by doing this, then the block usually, like, goes outwards and it just falls all the way down. It's not even worth my time. That's usually what happens. I got nine cobblestone, so... Alright, let's figure out where I'm going to build the new base. And then, there's a lava block right there in front of me. I'll be able to scoop that up, build a cobblestone generator, mine a bunch of freaking cobblestone, and build a giant base. That way I won't have trouble finding it. And I can put the uh, the glowstone I got. I can put, like, glowstone on, like, some of the sides. I only have eight blocks, but I can build a little bit on, like, maybe, like, one on each side like I guess two on each side because it'd be like a square but like two on each side I don't know maybe make it like slightly easier to find but yeah I don't want to get lost and like technically I think what you could do is you can use the home command and it'll teleport you back to the uh the place that you set as your home but come on that's cheating I get the point is so like if you're in the hub like the spawn area like you need to get to like onto the sky grid then yeah but like if you're in the sky grid and you get lost that's cheating if you get lost, you get lost. I probably need to get further away from the lava, otherwise it'll burn the freaking wood up and stuff. Do this, and then do this. Uh, okay, that was close. You know when you feel like you're about to fall off? It's like, yeah. that That's what I just experienced. It's like, you don't. You're really not even close, but like, you still, you still just feel like the slight hesitation. Like you feel like you're gonna like accidentally hit like shift or something. Or just do something completely stupid. So I think what I can do is I can put it on this. What the heck? I thought I just saw an Enderman. Anyways, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the base on this stone block right here. So I can start building these out around. How much coal? I only have two coal. I, I wasn't mining so much coal because at the actual base I had like a bunch of freaking coal. So I was like. Oh, I don't need to get coal. Coal's fine. Uh, was I wrong about that? I was wrong about that. Uh, well, first you need to make sticks. So, uh, then you can make some torches. 
and then put one right here and set home. So this is the new base because I couldn't find the other one. And I swear, and then in like the next episode or something, I'm probably just going to run into it and be like, oh, well, crap. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Not that it matters anymore. Where were you when I needed you? You know, that kind of thing. Dang, my escape key just fell off. <laughs> Alright, so now I just need a crafting table and a furnace. So, but, oh, I used up all the wood. I was like, what happened to the wood? I was like, well, it's right here. What else do you think happened to it? Because I have all this birch wood and the, uh, what is this called? Acacia. Why did I make two? I don't know. Anyways, wait, you can't make a furnace with a four. Okay. I can just go right here, and then I can put this in here, and I can put it like that. It won't do all those, it'll only do eight of them, but... And then I can make a chest, like that. That right there. And put in some of the stuff that I don't need. I still don't understand what I'm going to do with a conduit on Skygrid. But, you know, whatever, that's there, that's a thing. That exists. Let's put all this other crap. Sand, I can make glass out of it. I want to save some of these melons, so I can make, like, seeds and stuff out of them. Then I'll take a couple of these and just eat them. Now I can make I can make a pickaxe and a bucket. Good times here. Pickaxe. There we go. Stone pickaxe will be the backup pickaxe if I die or something. And then now we have this bucket and we can we can make a cobblestone generator. So maybe I'll just make like make it out of like cobblestone and dirt for now. And then eventually, once I have a bunch of cobblestone, I'll make everything look nice and stuff. Because I'm one of those players who likes to make stuff look half decent. It's like, I mean, I don't know. It's time to go out of my way and just like build like a one of those giant ass well designed castles and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll make it look decent. It won't just be like a dirt noobish hut, you know? I think what I can do is I can make the infinite water source. So I'll just grab a second one of those. Let's try to keep track of where the base is this time. So I don't freaking lose it. <sighs> I'm basically caught up to what the old base was. It was just a chest, a furnace, a crafting table, and then like four by four platform of wood. I want to put like grass outside of the base and then just do like a melon farm and then like a beet farm. Cause I think those are the two the two things that I have that I can use. I don't think I've gotten that chest yet. Rails, bro. I don't think the bed's any use because we're on a server. Oh, where was the what? Where was this when I needed you? Bruh. I would have taken this a long time ago. Droppers? This is all, this is all like very arbitrary stuff right here. No, honestly, I don't think I need any of it. I think I have enough like random blocks and shit just to to build the thing, so I'm gonna try and do that. Climbing our way back up to the base. The base, the base. It's all about the base. I should probably never say that again. See, cause I wanna build like the little house thing. And I wanna have like, like a little yard kind of, like coming out here. And then have like the cobblestone generator like in the yard. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it like kinda in this area right here where this mushroom is. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So I'm pretty sure you take the, uh, the water, right? Actually, I want to build it up a level. Wait. Yeah. Build it up a level so that I could do that. That was, you. that was a waste. I did not need to do that. Um. Yeah, because I wasted those three blocks. That was dumb. Uh, so the water goes here, I think. And then I think the lava goes right here. And then obviously we need like ends around here so the stuff doesn't fall out. Is that correct? I don't know if that's correct. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's just, it's only supposed to go here. Is it? I know the water's supposed to go down like an extra block. Oh, that's right here I'm thinking of. So water goes here and then kind of like falls down here. 
and then the lava here and then this is where the cobblestone goes i think like this is where it'll generate the cobble so then the lava goes like right here i think so i'm probably doing this wrong probably doing this hella wrong i could put sandstone here oh my god that looks so ugly that's so bad <sighs> and then i need like a a bottom piece here so i need like three blocks there to make like the the, the floor of, of where this water goes Since we have three buckets, we don't need to make the infinite source just yet. So that goes there. Yeah, this this looks very familiar. And now I can just scoop up, which is conveniently right here. Yes. Yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. So what I eventually want to do is I know if you put, you can put obsidian here where this uh, sandstone is and then where the dirt underneath where the cobblestone goes so that like you could just like press and hold without having to like worry about mining these because if you just press and hold then you might mine the dirt and this and or the sandstone you could just afk cobblestone if you put obsidian there what the heck bruh i just like glitched through it what the heck i said i was gonna do the infinite water source so that's that's easy now that I have a bunch of cobblestone. Put a couple of these under here. Finish this. So now, infinite water source. Don't have to worry about running out of water. A couple backup buckets if I die. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. You like my skin? It's Space Engineers. I'm thinking about maybe doing that eventually, but uh, not right now. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you didn't like it too much, you can dislike it. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the next episode. And check my other videos if you're interested in Kerbal Space Program, because that's kind of my main thing that I do on this channel normally. I'm looking forward to doing more Minecraft stuff anyways. And I'm also thinking about starting a new, different type of video on the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.